Guillaume Mathieu Comte was a French general. Biography Born in Montpellier, France of a noble family, he joined the French army in 1773 and entered upon active service in 1780 as aide-de-camp to Rochambeau in the American Revolutionary War. He had a share in all the principal engagements that occurred during a period of nearly two years. On the conclusion of peace in 1783 he returned to France as a major. During 1784-1786 Duma explored the archipelago and the coasts of Turkey. He was present at the Siege of Amsterdam in 1787, where he cooperated with the Dutch against the Prussians. After the outbreak of the French Revolution, he acted with Lafayette and the Constitutional Liberal Party. In 1791 as a Marechal de Camp he was appointed to a command at Metz, where he rendered important service in improving the discipline of the troops. Chosen a member of the Legislative Assembly in the same year by the département of seine et he was in 1792 elected President of the Assembly. When the extreme Republicans gained the ascendancy, however, he judged it prudent to make his escape to England, returning after a brief interval under the apprehension that his father-in-law would be held responsible for his absence. He arrived in Paris in the midst of the Reign of Terror, and had to flee to Switzerland. Soon after his return to France he was elected a member of the Council of Ancients in the period of the Directory. After the coup of the 18th Fructidor Dumas, being prescribed as a monarchist, made his escape to Holstein, where he wrote the first part of his P.R.E. Acute C.I.'s des Evenements Militaires. Recalled to his native country when Bonaparte became first consul, Duma took over the organization of the Army of Reserve at Dijon. In 1805 he was nominated a councillor of state. He did good service at the Battle of Austerlitz, and went in 1806 to Naples, where he became Minister of War to Joseph Bonaparte. On the transfer of Joseph to the throne of Spain, Duma rejoined the French army, with which he served in Spain during the campaign of 1808, and in Germany during that of 1809. After the Battle of Wagram, Duma participated in negotiating the armistice with Austria. In 1810 he became Grand Officer of the Legion of Honor and Account of the Empire. In the Russian campaign of 1812 he held the post of Intendant General of the Army, which involved the charge of the Administrative Department. The privations he suffered in the retreat from Moscow brought on a dangerous illness. Resuming, on his recovery, his duties as Intendant General, he took part in the battles of 1813 and was made prisoner after the capitulation of Dresden. On the accession of Louis XVIII, Duma rendered his new sovereign important services in connection with the administration of the army. When Napoleon Bonaparte returned from Elba in the Hundred Days, Duma at first kept himself in retirement. But Joseph Bonaparte persuaded him to present himself to the Emperor, who employed him in organizing the National Guard. Obliged to retire after the restoration of Louis XVIII, Duma devoted his leisure to the continuation of his P.R.E. Acute C.I.'s des Evenements Militaires of which 19 volumes, embracing the history of the war from 1798 to the Peace of 1807, appeared between 1817 and 1826. A growing weakness of sight, ending in blindness, prevented him from carrying the work further, but he translated Napier's Peninsular War as a sort of continuation to it. In 1818 Duma returned to favor and became a member of the Council of State, from which, however, he was excluded in 1822. After the July Revolution of 1830, in which he took an active part, Duma was created a peer of France, and re-entered the Council of State. He died at Paris on 16 October 1837. Besides the P.R.E. Acute C.I.'s des Evenements Militaires, which forms a valuable source for the history of the period, Dumas wrote Souvenirs du Lieutenant-General Comte Mathieu Dumas.